Hello everyone, David Adler here, President of AJA, and standing next to me is Rabbi Yankee Berger, and you can see behind us an old building. What is it, Yankee? This is the uh, Maitland Synagogue, which was opened in 1879, and it closed in 1898. So in the 1800s, it was a it was a shul, it was a vibrant shul here in Maitland, which is just uh, two hours north of Sydney. Now, um, something very special has happened uh, yesterday and the day before. Maitland Synagogue has not been used as a synagogue for over 100 years, but that changed. Now, why don't you tell us what happened, Rabbi? Well, what happened was this, uh, this weekend, about 35 people came to Maitland, and with the, uh, obviously with the permission of the current owners, it's owned by uh, Chromis, which is an occupational health center. Uh, they allowed us to reopen the shul for a weekend. And we davened and we sang and we celebrated Shabbos in this uh, old shul. And it was very, very significant and very meaningful for the participants. So th this is a bit of living history which you have created this weekend. And I was privileged to be part of it along with people from uh, Chabad Double Bay and from other congregations uh, to reinstate, if you like, a mm. bit of uh, Yiddishkeit, a bit of Kedusha, um, and uh, a wonderful project uh, managed very, very well by uh, Chabad Double Bay. So the Pasha, uh, the title of the Pasha this week uh, seems to be applicable to what you've done. I think we all did it together, you know, it's, um, it was a different type of project, you know, we, we haven't done such a project ever. Uh, we just happened upon this building during the summer and we had this, uh, this uh, almost gut feeling that we had to come back here and do, and do something on a Shabbos and uh, people like David and a few others uh, who came along and, and participated uh, all together. We, we really, I think it was a very meaningful Shabbos for everyone, a very, very special and meaningful a memorable Shabbos for all those who participated. So when history is written of the Jewish community in uh, rural areas, um, one of the things that has been established uh, this Shabbos is a new page that after a century, uh, the, a Jewish community uh, returned to Maitland to uh, use the synagogue for its original purpose. It is a heritage building, so uh, what you see behind us uh, is preserved in perpetuity, and who knows, maybe someday it'll be used again in the future. Wow. You know, I'm just thinking, it says, it says in the Talmud that the Jewish people are compared to the moon. The moon waxes and wanes, and when you think the moon is getting smaller and smaller and it's disappearing, all of a sudden there's this uh, renaissance, there's this rebirth of, uh, of the moon every single month, and in a sense, this shul, you know, no one davened here for uh, for over a hundred over 120 years. And we came back here. You know who would have ever thought that there'd ever be the sounds of prayer and study and Jewish song and Shabbos within its walls. And we come back here and celebrate Shabbos. It just has that uh, that same theme of, of uh, Yisrael Domil Alvana. Well, big muscle tov, and may you succeed in many such projects in Thank the future, you, Rabbi. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello everyone. Now, we're here in Maitland and I'm with Professor Susan Rutland, who's a, an expert in Jewish history and she's come as part of the Chabad Double Bay group to use the Maitland Synagogue. So, Susan, can you tell us a little bit about the Maitland Synagogue and about the Maitland Jewish community? Yeah, with pleasure. Uh, Maitland's very interesting because this was a farming area in the 19th century right. but of course farming pro produces need to be got to the markets. And Jews are traders. So already from the 1830s onwards Jews were here in Maitland creating a huge um, trading commerce with coaches, with ships that were coming up from the Newcastle tide water um, and this was a thriving Jewish centre. The synagogue took time to be built. It was actually only opened 
in 1879. Right. And that's an image of the heyday of Maitland Jewish community. They hired a, a rabbi, Reverend Goldstein. And at that point, it wasn't clear that it was actually not just the heyday of Maitland, but also coming to the end of Maitland. Right, okay. Because um, railways were coming in, the railway line was built to Newcastle because of coal. Mm -hmm. And so Maitland, which had been this key trading center for the Hunter Valley, and we go down to Valley today for its great wines, um, Maitland suddenly died. And within 20 years of the opening of the synagogue, there was no longer a minyan and a group that could sustain a minister. And so the minister at the time, Reverend uh, Solomon Levy, who was much loved by both the Jews and the non-Jews here in Maitland, left and the synagogue closed and was sold. What, what year did it cease operating? When was it last used? It then? ceased operating officially, as far as I know, in 1898, which is when the minister left. Maybe they still had a couple of services between then and when the building was sold, which was in 1901. Okay, so since 1898 approximately, there had been no Jewish service, as far as we know, in that building until this weekend. That's right. As somebody pointed out, the 120th anniversary, and we always say this 120th, uh, until 120. So we have <laughs> revived Maitland Synagogue. Well, thank you, Susan, for your comments, and I hope everyone finds that of interest and uh, together with a few words from uh, Rabbi Yankee Berger, we have a little snapshot of a new page in the history of the Jewish community for Maitland. Thank you.